Hi everyone, welcome to second order linear differential equations. Today we are going to first define what are second order linear differential equations, what is a Ronskian, what role does the Ronskian play in solving such differential equations. We will also be solving some problems. So let us begin. A second order differential equation in the most general form is defined as d2y by dx square plus px dy by dx plus qxy is equal to rx. Here px, qx and rx are functions of x. We can also write it as y2 dashes plus pxy dash plus qxy is equal to rx. Few things to note. The first thing that the coefficient of y2 dashes is 1. Let us say it is not 1 and it is some function of x let's say sx, then we can safely divide the whole differential equation by sx, which would give me y2 dashes plus px upon sx y dash plus qx upon sxy is equal to rx upon sx. And px upon sx, qx upon sx and rx upon sx would still be functions of x. So we can safely take the coefficient of y2 dashes as 1. The second thing, what if the right hand side of such a differential equation is 0? In that case, we get y2 dash plus pxy dash plus qxy is equal to 0. Such a differential equation is called a reduced second order differential equation, also called a homogeneous second order differential equation. In this video, we will be solving such differential equations. The third point, what if y1 and y2 are any two solutions of such a reduced homogeneous differential equation, then the linear combination c1y1 plus c2y2 will also be a solution and it is called a general solution. c1 and c2 are some constants here. As I mentioned, we would be studying such differential equations here, the homogeneous second order differential equation. Let's first see some more points. The first one, if y1x and y2x are any two linearly independent solutions of this homogeneous differential equation, y2 dash plus pxy dash plus qxy is equal to 0, on the interval a, b, then the linear combination c1, y1 plus c2, y2 will be the general solution of this differential equation in the interval a, b. For different values of the constant c1 and c2, we can find all the solutions of 1. Now, what's a Ronskian? Ronskian is denoted by w, y1, y2. And it is nothing but the determinant y1, y2 dash minus y2, y1 dash. The Ronskian can have either a value 0 or it will be non-zero. Whenever our Ronskin is 0, it means our, the two solutions linearly dependent on each other. Or you can say one solution can be written as a constant multiple of the second one. Whenever the Ronskin is non-zero, we get two linearly independent solutions and we can write the general solution as a linear combination of both of them. This is the condition which we would be checking for all our problems. There are two common notations which we use, yg for general solution and yp for particular solution. Let's come to some examples. In the first example, we are asked to show that e to the power x and e to the power minus x are linearly independent solutions of y2 dash minus y is equal to 0. To first check whether each one of them is a solution, you can differentiate them twice, substitute them in the differential equation. If my right hand side becomes 0, they are solutions. I am skipping that part. Let's come to the Ronskin. As we have been asked to show that these solutions are linearly independent, the Ronskin y1, y2 comes out to be minus 2. Now, this is non-zero, which tells us that my solutions e to the power x and e to the power minus x are linearly independent. 
this is what was asked to show. Come to the second example. Here we are given y is equal to c1x plus c2x square. And we have to show that this is the general solution of the given differential equation x square y2 dashes minus 2xy dash plus 2y is equal to 0 on any interval not containing 0. Now this is the condition. And then we have to find the particular solution where the initial conditions y1 is equal to 3 and y dash 1 is equal to 5 are given. Let's start with the general solution y is equal to c1x plus c2x square. Now here y1 is clearly x and y2 is x square. If I differentiate y once we get y dash is c1 plus c2 c2x. Again differentiate it we get y2 is 2 c2. Substitute y y dash and y2 dashes in your given differential equation. On simplifying we will see it reduces to 0 which means that y is the general solution. Now let's find the Ronskian. On substituting y1, y1 dash, y2, y2 dash, we see it comes out to be x square. Now this Ronskian will only be 0 when x is 0. Otherwise it will be non-zero for all other values. So we will be getting linearly independent solutions only for x not equal to 0. So the condition given to us was on any interval not containing 0. Let's find c1 and c2. You are given y1 is equal to 3 and y dash 1 is equal to 5. Substitute x is equal to 1 in y and y dash. And solve both the equations simultaneously. We will get c1 is 1 and c2 is 2. Put them in the general solution. We will get the particular solution y is equal to x plus 2 x square. In the third example we are given show y is equal to c1 e to the power 2x plus c2x e to the power 2x is the general solution of y2 dashes minus 4y dash plus 4y is equal to 0 on any interval. Here y1 is e to the power 2x and y2 is x e to the power 2x. Let's differentiate y once we get y dash. Differentiate it again we get y2 dashes y dash comes out to be 2 c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 e to the power 2x plus 2x e to the power 2x. y2 dashes comes out to be 4 e to the power 2x bracket c1 plus c2 plus c2x. Substitute y, y dash and y2 dashes in your differential equation. You see on simplifying we get 0 which means y is a general solution. Let's find the Ronskian here on substituting y1, y1 dash, y2 and y2 dash. We see the Ronskian comes out to be e to the power 4x. Now whatever value of x you take, Ronskian will always be non-zero as it's an exponential function. Even for x is equal to 0, we get 1 as the value of our Ronskian. So our Solutions y1 and y2 are linearly independent for all values of x. Hence, y is equal to c1 e to the power 2x plus c2 x e to the power 2x is the general solution of differential equation on any interval. In the fourth example, we have to find two linearly independent solutions of x square y2 dash minus 2y is equal to 0 on the interval 1, 2 and then we have to find the particular solution satisfying the initial conditions y1 is equal to 1 and y dash 1 is equal to 8. Now we can use inspection or we can use any other method to find the two solutions. Here I take the differential equation as x2 x square y2 dashes minus 2y is equal to 0 as x square y2 dash is equal to 2y. What if you take the first solution as x square. I differentiate it once I get 2x. I differentiate it again I get 2. We are given the initial condition y1 is equal to 1 which will give me 2 on both the sides. So I took y1 as x square and 
the same logic I took when I took y2 as 1 by x because when I differentiate it once I get minus 1 by x square when I differentiate y I get 2 by x cube and left hand side will be 2 by x the right hand side will be 2 by x on taking x is equal to 1 we will again get 2 so we can see that by inspection y1 is x squared and y2 is 1 by x the common solutions which you can try for such problems are take y1 to be x square y2 be 1 by x or take exponentials for y1 and y2 or you can take the trigonometric functions also for your uh, solutions you know whatever the case be to find the particular solution we find the derivative of y which comes out to be uh, 2c1x minus c2 1 by x square now what I've done is I've taken y1 to be x square and y2 be 1 by x and written my y is equal to c1 x square plus c2 1 by x. Substitute x is equal to 1 we get using the initial condition c1 plus c2 is 1. In the derivative substitute x is equal to 1 we get 2 c1 minus c2 is equal to 8. Solve we get c1 is 3 and c2 is minus 2. The particular solution becomes yx is equal to 3x square minus 2 by x. Thank you for watching. For other courses, you can check my website www.profpreetivajpay.com The next topic which we are going to do is use of one unknown solution to find the other solution. Once again, thanks for watching. See you guys.